Hi guys and welcome back to Monkey Lockpicks. I know, I know it's been a really, really long time since the last video and I want to apologize with uh, all of you for this uh, month without uh, publishing any kind of uh, video or content here on my channel and uh, anywhere else but I've been really busy due to work and uh, family duties so I hope you will comprehend but I'm really happy to say to you that I'm back and I will start today picking some locks I've uh, played with uh, during these months okay first thing first I have had my um, one year anniversary during this period I have uh, promised you a nice uh, giveaway so I want to make that giveaway and at the end of this video I will show you the price and how to enter okay let's start picking some locks today I want to start showing you one of the locks that my dear friend Paola Frege sent to me a while ago this is the the lock this is an era six spinner and is called bed cop and Paola told me to pick this lock only counterclockwise the key is mummified as you can see so let's start the lock is uh, locked, is a common euro lock. I use top of the keyway tension and this uh, Le Corbeau deep hook because I've felt some really deep cuts in this lock. Wait, we wait. Uh, some deep cuts I think we will see on the key, but the pins. Some have to be set really, really high. Okay, pin number one and pin number two already give me some clicks and a little bit of counter rotation. Maybe I can go right there a little bit and zoom in so you can see better. Okay, pin number three, another click nothing on 4 nothing on 5 little click on 6 but no changing in the core, no counter rotation no false set I'm going back, I feel pin number 2 I think is giving me some counter rotation Okay, a little bit of false set running. Okay, one, nothing, two, nothing. Little bit of counter rotation on three. Okay, a little bit of false set more. Now I'm on five couple of clicks but no changing in the core okay I'm going back again testing if I've dropped something okay I think the lowest cuts the lowest pins are already set so now I'm putting this uh, bottom of the keyway tension wrench to prevent my pick from falling between the wordings. And so I have a little bit more of leverage on the high setting pins. Okay. No clicks on three, but I'm feeling some counter rotation so I will push a little bit harder ok 
This is four. Okay. This is five. Five have to be a really short key pin because even with this uh, high reach hook I'm having a little bit of trouble setting this one. Okay, now I think it's set. Okay, okay. Four. Nothing. Another click on three, but I think I have dropped it a little bit. Trying to set pin number five. Okay, the first one, nothing. The second one, nothing. Again, number three. This is acting like a gatekeeper. Number four is solid. This was five. No, that was four. This was five. Everything seems pretty much in the set position, but the lock is still closed. So maybe I have overset something or maybe there is some crazy pin made by Paola that is falling down each time I get some counter rotation from the other pins. I think four, no, nothing, five, nothing. As you can see, this uh, bad cop is a really bad enemy. Man, this is a fight. I've picked it a couple of times during these uh, months, but it was most luck, I think. Now I'm putting a little bit less of tension to see if I can get a little bit of feedback more. There are pins. There are keeping falling back down. Number three is man. Is I picked pin number three almost five or six times in eight minutes. Okay, let's try with a little bit more of a tension and trying to push a little bit harder on the pins because I don't want to have any other pins that I have already picked to fall back down and make me start back again I'm getting nothing from this lock. I have here some counter rotation. This was five. Everything feels solid. I don't know if I'm picking pins or if I am picking the wording. 
That's crazy. Okay, now I'm in a pretty deep fall set. Let's check back again. The other pins. Which one is giving me counter rotation? I lost my fall set. I think I've overset something. And we are open. 11 minutes and a half. Man, this lock is crazy. Paula, you did a really great job with this lock. Okay, let's put everything away. And let's collect the right tools to get this lock. Oof, what a fight. Okay. Okay, I think... I will go just like that. Let's lock. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's see how the key looks like. Okay, now this is the beating on the key, so you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4 are really low cut and 5 and 6 are pretty high. Okay, now let's see if the key works. Okay, it turns, it's grabbing a little bit but Nothing crazy, okay. Now... Let's take this tail piece, the sear clip off. Maybe I'm gonna do this on camera. I hate sir clips. And this is gonna be a long video, I think. Eleven minutes of picking, two hours and a half for gutting. Okay, the hardest part is done. Now, like that. that. No, what I'm doing. 
already feel some sharp edges. Okay, the shim is all the way in, so wish me luck so I don't screw up anything. Okay, this is cool. Look at the amount of work Paula put into this lock. I know there were some T pins. Okay. Nice. Well, let's see. Pin number one. Crazy. It's like well, a snowman. Pin number two. A crazy. Oh my, I, I don't. I don't even know how to call it. Three parts. We're gonna take a look closer in a minute. Number three. A bottle. Number four. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> and number five. Okay, this is like a a mushroom keeping. Cool. And number six. Let's take a look at the core first. As you can see, each and every one of these chambers is threaded. Maybe with some light more you can see better. I see some work, some other work on chamber number one. No, is it just threaded? Nice. So every chamber is threaded. Let's put these crazy pins in the right way. This is oh man, Paula, you are crazy. Okay. And this one was just like that. Okay, this this lock is I don't know two days two days worth of working just on the key pins. Okay, let's see what we have in the Bible. Pin number one. Really weak spring. No. It just have been cogged by the threadings and a little wafer and a steel spring. Okay. Let's do that right there so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, pin number two. Homemade serrated and the copper spring. Number three. A mushroom serrated. Okay, the, the shim is catching the spring so I'm gonna take it away okay we are gonna see where is the spring in a minute let's see pin number four it was just like that okay and this is The wafer and the steel spring number five oops 
I think this is number five and this is number six. Spring number five and this is spring number six. Okay, Paula, I'm sorry, but this uh, pin popped out while I'm was getting so maybe these two pins these two drivers have to be inverted I um, I wait until Paula tells me the truth and I don't know if in chamber number three we have or not the spring Try to I feel something. Maybe it has been cocked by the set screw. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the Bible. Where's my okay? I hope you can see. I'm trying to give you the best angle. I can see one, two, three, four, five, and six all threaded. Okay, so every single chamber in the Bible and in the core are threaded and this is the master piece of pins. Let's see if the camera decide to cooperate. Okay. So this is like a snowman and we have right there this uh, serrated pin with this T-pin part and a wafer to prevent the spring to be caught by the, the sharp part. This is uh, serrated and right there we have a three part pin. This is the part which uh, interact with the key. This, uh, two-parter top and the pin itself will be just like that let's see okay as you can see awesome here we have something that reminds me like a bottle here we have another T-pin and above in chamber number three we have this uh, mushroom with serrations and here we have this uh, I th it looks like a bell with serrations and a little wafer on top to prevent the spring to be cocked by this uh, round part then in chamber number five we have a mushroom keeping and this uh, uh, I don't know, serrated uh, spool and even the this narrower part uh, has uh, some serrations and in the third chamber we have this uh, T-pin key pin so this part let's see if I can manage to show you Okay, so as you can see, this little tip comes down from the from the top. Okay, and 
above we have this I think it was just like that this uh, really deep spool with this uh, sharp lip and the nice variations and some nice variations with the springs the third chamber I see now is a double up spring so that's why probably it will keep in falling down because the the heavy tension okay I'm sorry for the long video guys this is an awesome awesome lock from Paola okay now a quick look to the price for my giveaway okay I will be right there in a minute Let's zoom out okay so first I want to thank everybody for stucking with me even if I'm a little bit uh, I've been away for a, for a while okay let's start with the standard things I'm gonna give away this nice Abus 7230 with uh, some nice beating as you can see obviously you know is rekeyable so it's a great lock for practicing uh, picking and uh, even some gutting this is for the beginners for the pro picker I'm gonna give away this nice uh, Ruko with uh, his operating key as you can see this is a awesome lock as you already know and then something different in this months I've been playing with some handcuffs and uh, to try pick it okay these are some Smith Wesson heavy 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 handcuffs I've had a couple of these from eBay and uh, the only flaw you have with these ones I have already marked it is that in this one this uh, stop right there which engages and can be opened with the key here doesn't work but this part is uh, completely functional so if you if you want to open it with uh, an angle grinder and see what inside this part uh, can be open it as you like but as you can see it still works nicely with the key okay so and the key goes right there and the last but not the least because I am monkey lockpicks and I make lockpicks I want to give away this nice deep hook with this nice uh, handle shape and I'm gonna add this nice red cherry scales onto the handle I'm working on this one for you and for everyone who wants to try to build your own uh, lockpicks I'm gonna give some popsicle sticks for the handle these are uh, 24 pairs or I haven't counted it but there are many as you can see and now and I will also add some uh, filler gauges already pre-cutted so you can you have just to file down the tip as you like glue the handles and you're ready to go all right guys I'm sorry but my camera died right before the end of the video I just want to add a little thing that is if you want to participate in this giveaway just leave a comment below this video 
and uh, in a week uh, from now I will make uh, hopefully another video and draw the winner of this uh, giveaway free shipping worldwide I don't ask any money to any one of you and uh, that's it so have a good one have a nice speaking and see you soon thanks and bye